Should be getting a trade here really quickly. One of the more important things about trading is understanding the candles. And sorry, I'm looking away and managing all of these trades. <clears throat> so, so basically what I was looking at was I saw the big negative and then a reversal. So then I put on the top side for this very small scalp that I'm going for on the NASDAQ. Um, but it, it brings up a good question of whenever I read the candles, I'm reading for short term moves and I'm reading for the kind of moves that, um, that can get some juice to, to go through the scalp. I don't care the long term direction. I mean, I do because that's part of, you know, the analysis of going into what makes a good trade. But you see how this is basically it's recovered, it's come back to the midline and it's kind of building here. Well, any bullish activity means that this should pop up and at least try to get through here. And I only care about this small spread right there. Um, plus I'm testing to see what on four ticks on the NASDAQ to see what the uh, slippage is going to be. So this is, um, this is a system that I haven't made a video about yet, uh, but I've been doing it and it's been really successful. I did take a loss finally yesterday, but for the most part, it's it's won pretty consistently because I don't ask a lot of it. Um, I'm essentially going for four ticks on the NASDAQ, which is one point. And if you think about the movement of 13,500 to get one point really isn't um, a lot to ask for. But to get one point with two contracts, without slipping right through that, that might be. So that's kind of what we're doing today, <clears throat> is um, hoping that, and I have to manage this other account too, hoping that when it pops through, that um, the two contracts pays us relatively well, uh, where the slippage is manageable, and then the risk reward profile goes really in my favor uh, because I can take fewer trades to make my dollar amount for that particular day. You know, the not over trading thing. Um, if, if it comes through and I can pull out a win and the slippage is not that good, then one contract is the sweet spot. I've been doing one contract for a solid week, basically taking every trade that I could um, make you know, there it is. Hey, look at that. We got we got all 29 points that I expected on that. That is great. So I don't know if you if you saw, but basically we went from 31 to almost 61. And that's what is expected is we're going for if we're going for 40 ticks or we're going for $40. Um, on a small scalp as a win, you have commissions. And so with the commissions, you've got basically $6 per side, roughly, it's just less than that, um, through, through the uh, Elite Trader funding platform and Tradeavate. <clears throat> it comes in at less than, on one contract, just under $3 per side. And so you would expect that you should get about $29 or $30 on a win, with this scalp, we got all of it. And it busted through at a high velocity. So it was an easy trade. We got all $30 that I kind of expected it was gonna be in that range. Um, the worst case scenario is that I would trade two contracts and take on the two contracts worth of risk, but only get maybe $19 out of it, which makes the math not make sense. This makes sense though, so far, unless the market gets thin. <clears throat> Let's see the middle trade and there we go. We got the win on the middle trade. That one is not as good. We only won $14 on this one. Um, and we were going for seven ticks. So this actually won and this is uh, 
this is another system I'm going to have a video about. So we got a win, one contract. We were going for 35 and we ended up with 14. And what happened is, and hopefully I can edit in a, a playback of this, but it went all the way up and then it did what, I, what it usually does around the one hour high and busted through before it pulled back. So we got the seven ticks, but the slippage got us and we got $14 on this other trading system. Uh, that's a 90% trading system and there will be a video on that as well. So the next thing that I, I want to point out is just candle reading. Because basically, this is obviously negative. We've got a, long, a down candle, but, but what I wanna point out is this right here, you're gonna see these kind of upticks. If you see the big down swoops again, then basically people are just taking better prices to sell and that's setting it up for it to continue moving. <coughs> allergies sorry so so basically what you're gonna see in that is if it's if it's going to continue to punch down and then tick a little slowly up and punch down then it has the ammo to to do what I expected it was gonna do here and punch through whatever small trade and when you're scalping you you don't necessarily care about direction but you care about conviction and velocity the, the higher the velocity of the candles, the better the chance that you're going to get filled on your trade. You do have to worry about slippage, which we were checking earlier, but when it all lines up, your trades are almost instant money because with, with high velocity of the candles, then if you're asking for four ticks, then it's you're going to get four ticks because it's going to just slip through there and punch through but the velocity is always greater on one side versus the other and if you see that in the near term um if it's neutral like right now the velocity seems bullish and i don't know if you can see it but i can see it see and, and I'm just telling you this because I can see the velocity because it goes down and then up more and up more and down and up more. Even if it's a negative candle, it can have a positive velocity, but if it or vice versa. But if it's a if it's a candle that's negative and has a negative velocity, and you want to go short, um, which I would use the uh, Bollinger Band here to to set my entry point. If you want to go short and it's a negative velocity and it's wound up and you've got kind of a, a neutral to negative neutral market at the bare minimum, then that's golden. And, and if you have a negative market with negative velocity on the candle and you've got your position in and everything is set up, like that's the trade where you want to maybe take on more risk because everything is in your favor.